Hi, this is Mark Richards with Infolink Consulting. And in our last demo, I showed you guys how to use a maplet to create a rule that we can incorporate into our profile so that we can put some uh, business logic or some business rules in there and take a look at uh, the results of the data accordingly. So I'm going to take my existing profile. I could add it to this, uh, but I'm actually going to just take a copy of this and paste that in here. And I'm going to reuse objects that are dependence, dependencies. So I'm just going to create a, a, a copy of that and double click this. And I'm going to call this profile CSV salaries with rule. All right, I'm going to save that. So this is basically, uh, there's, there's nothing in here because I, I, I need to run it. Um, but in the definition here, if you recall when we set up this um, profile ori originally, we looked at the column selections, we looked at any filters, we looked at sampling options, we looked at drill downs. There's also an option in here for rules. Um, and because I've created this map, I can now add that rule. And I'm going to browse and I'm going to look within my project demo 101. And here it is, my rule is valid gender. So I'm going, to, I'm going to click OK. And the value of in gender, I'm going to select here, and I'm going to pass it the value gender from my CSV file, like so, and click OK. And so the next time I run this profile, I will have a new column in here um, that will be my, my rule, and I can take a look at the data. So to run it, I can right click on here and select Run Profile. Okay, so my profile has run, and I can see here the same results that uh, I have had previously. And again, I can still see the, um, the same set of, of genders. But if we look down here, then we can see I have a separate uh, section for rules where I have this is valid gender. And I can see from this that 674,446 records are valid, but I have 38 records that are invalid. In other words, they've failed my business rule. So if I click on invalid and, and select drill down, this is an easy way for me to see those 38 records all grouped together. And again, uh, I can look for patterns within these 38 records that may tell me if there's a problem uh, with with some aspect of of the, of the source data that I need to be aware of or, or or whatever I need to do from here okay so in the next demo I'm going to show you guys how to create a new connection for a database um, as a precursor to creating a mapping that'll take our input flat file and do some transformations and mappings to copy it to a database mm -hmm.